all waves do four things. They reflect, but they also refract, diffract, and interfere. When we talk about refraction, this is the change in direction of a wave as it passes from one medium to another caused by the change of its speed. Refraction changes medium, so it changes speed as well. Here I have a straight wave going from deep water to shallow water. It slows down and its wavelength gets smaller. The speed of a wave only changes when that medium changes. So refraction is a change in medium, a change in velocity. For water waves, depth can act like a different medium. Shallow water versus deep water are two different mediums. With refraction, a change in medium can act like a fixed end reflection. So wave reflects and refracts. So it sends a transmitted wave through and a reflected wave back. So as it reflects, the angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection. Same speed because the reflected wave doesn't change mediums and reflects in that same exact medium. When we refract, it changes direction. So the angle of incidence is not the same as the angle of refraction. It changes speeds because it's changing mediums. So now we have our waves coming in at an angle. One set refracts slower. One set reflects at the same exact speed. Waves can also diffract. This is when they spread around obstacles or corners. We think of this as waves bending around obstacles. It spreads into the shadow of the obstacle. This is why a loud hallway can be heard throughout a classroom with the open door. The sound waves bend around the opening. So they come and they spread. Even if they aren't coming directly in, they spread out to the sides. We've seen interference with string waves or slinky waves, but we can also see it with water waves. Here's one wave that I've sent out, one circular wave. Let's set out another circular set of waves and see how they interact or interfere. If we let both waves go at the same time, we can see there are points where those waves are going to overlap or interfere. When waves meet, they interfere. Wave interference occurs when two waves meet on the same medium. Constructive interference, the amplitudes have displacement in the same direction, so we add them up. This is when a crest and a crest meet, a trough and a trough meet. Those are points like that. Destructive interference happens when amplitudes have displacement in opposite directions. This is when a crest and a trough meet. This happens at points along this line or this line. So these are areas of destructive interference, whereas that green line is an area of constructive interference. If these were sound waves, the constructive interference would be louder. The destructive interference would be softer. This is exactly why theaters are set up the way they are, due to lines of destructive and constructive interference.